Right, the last deck for this morning's stream is going to be Demir Control. So we've got kind of standard control shell, we've got Extinction Events um, as a new card, we've got our Neutralizes, Easy Praise, Heartless Acts, and we've got some Shark Typhoons. Um, essentially just a big control deck. Um, be interesting to see how this holds up against the metagame. Um, this has no cages, that is wrong. We don't care about it, so we should be playing cages. Um, right, now let's give this a bash. Uh, we'll probably only get one or two games in with this, just because likely we'll get a slower deck. Um, unless we end up losing, which, in which case we'll probably not play that many with it. So, so we're against a Yorion deck. Um, yeah, this hand's fine. Um, and the gate and neutralize with a couple of Narsets when we hit a land. Perfect. Yes, it could still be the four color one we played against before as well. That I cannot find the list for that I really want to play. You know, sure. on to the next one like we are so far behind the fact they've got so far ahead of mana and we're screwing so let's just not waste our time like we're going to struggle to get all the games in with this deck anyway uh, we just want some disputes and probably don't want the heartless acts um, yeah, I can't even bring any anything else so I guess Aether Gust is fine as well uh, how many lands is this deck? This stupid overlay doesn't work when you're not in the actual game. And untap doesn't show anything either. Okay, I can't see my deck list until we're in the game. Also, just not, not saying that we were 100% dead there, but it's going to take so much effort and nickel and diming to be able to get back ahead there that I don't think it's worth us worth us doing that when we're just trying to kind of showcase decks rather than like actually play play 100% correctly uh, this hand's really awkward just want to have like how many lands are in this deck 26 that seems wrong Uh, that can go away, and I guess I'll probably have to throw one of them away. I think I need to keep the Ashiok, it's a one of. Okay, right. Well, we're playing Magic, so. <sighs> they have a Narset. I guess I can kind of deal with everything else. I just don't really want to deal with an R set. 
Shark Tycoon's probably fine. At least it cycles, can make a 1-1 one, one if you need it to. Um, yeah, this doesn't look particularly good for us. Come on, opponent, stop playing so slowly. There's literally a land drop, and that's your only decision here. Come on. Come on. Ah, the Triome. Ah, that's a weird Triome. This, I just don't think this kind of deck is good anymore. Like, I don't know how you're ever supposed to win, win games properly with this. I really don't. It's like there's so few catch-up mechanics at all. Extinction event isn't really a catch-up mechanic. As much as it's kind of kind of cool against the Abosh and the Garuda decks, just being able to exile all of their things, but Naked Elves with Conqueror's Death is interesting. Maybe a chance we should jam the night the Ashiok there. I guess if we did that then they could just use the Yorion to fuck her the else with Conquer stuff. I don't really want them to do. I guess they're just going to be on Nissa here, so. Once this resolves. Neutralize mm -hmm. a reasonable pickup. Another Shark Typhoon? Sure. Infinite mana here. Um, I think I'm fine with that one. The moon looks intriguing tonight. What are they naming? Dispute, maybe. Dolphin's Veto, sure, that makes sense. No! 
think I'm supposed to counter this. Much it feels real bad. If we draw untapped land, um, the typhoon's big enough to kill them. Next turn, they're just gonna flicker the Orion and yeah, they're just gonna flicker the Orion and or play the Orion flicker the things, are they? It doesn't actually do that much just now. It doesn't doesn't bring them back to land a turn, so does mean that our stuff is uh, basically useless. Okay, let's move on to another one. Um, we're, we're just kind of dead in the water there. Oh, come on. Arena is so slow at moving screen to screen. Another Yorion deck. This is the best hand we've seen out of this deck so far. This being a tap line is kind of awkward, but it's fine. I think I'm in for that. It means that all of our lands are untapped. It's Jeska Yorion. So we're going to get wrecked by Tefeta here instead of what we usually do. That'll be ace. Gold it. <laughs> don't think I need to cast this other Thought Erasure yet. Need to make sure that they don't rip a Tefeta. Because they're obviously going to have quite a lot of looks at it here, and I just don't want to deal with it. I um, guess they didn't have the untapped land to be able to cast Fede on three, but they, they may well have it for for this turn. Keeping one. Start activating this castle here. Our life total is not going to be that relevant. They're either going to be able to cavalier us or not. Extra cards is going to be more relevant than anything else. care about that. As much as it's kind of going to be a threat, but they're just gaining life. Okay. We're going to be here for a while, folks. to get comfy for this one because we are going to be here a little bit. Enter that one.
A guild goose. Do I even care about a guild goose? I don't think I do. Man, if I could find some actual colours of mana so I can Thought Eraser and hold up my counter spell, that would be amazing. Please don't draw all the cards in game life, that'd be really annoying. Uh, yeah, I'm in for more more resources. Um, hmm. I need to pass this turn, but hopefully they play this Cavalier. Because then we can Extinction Event and get rid of all of their odds. Yeah, we're not dead to it, so it's fine. <laughs> we're not far off dead to it, but... Give the things haste, so we're going to take five here. But then we get to kill their entire board. Uh, yeah, I want this land anyway, I think, so... And their mana's, mana's fine, so... Away the Elspeth Conquest death. And we will neutralize on top. Perfect. Alright, don't rip a cavalier. Okay, now you can rip a cavalier because I can try and deal with it, but. I'd really rather you still didn't. Okay, on top. Bay of Wishes. Oh my god. What's this gonna find? Bay of Wishes in your Yorion deck. Like, this is. This is some stuff going on here. I mean, we are just going to get Thought Erasure away, whatever it is they get. Yeah, no. Stop that. Uh, we don't need that land. I think I'm supposed to hold up. No, I'm not. I'm just going to jam the Narset. The gate's a good one. I guess if I knew I was going to play the the Narset, I should have done it. Done the Narset first. Okay. <laughs> okay. You knew I drew the negate, so I don't know why that was a snap concede. I mean, they could have still cast the Fae, um, and we'd probably had a, a reasonably hard time dealing with that, but... Don't care about the cheap creatures and don't really care about any of their creatures to be honest. This is books. I guess I need to keep these in because I need to cut like extinction events. I'll leave one in because like like where it was good there. I guess we can. These heartless acts are probably just worse than anything else. So. Uh, 
they are four color, not black, right? They've got Teferis and Yari on, so I guess we should probably just board in the Noxious Grasp because it actually kills stuff. Like killing their Teferi is probably relevant, so. How many lands is this? It's 26 lands, right? Sure. Um, sure. Sure, we'll run back with this. And now that I'm sitting further back here, let's. Uh, Fix that, there we go. Um, oh, for God's sake. Uh, this hand's much better. Keep this one. Um, the serpent's a, a little bit away yet. I think I'm supposed to hold up the counter spell rather than jam the thought erasure. Mm -hmm. uh, same principle again. Don't think I can jam. Just cycling a trium. This mana. How many blue sources have we got here? Yeah, I don't care. Um, oh, just. <laughs> we got 4, 8, 15, 16, 17. 17 blue sources. 34% to draw a blue source. Fine. Dumping more lands into play. Yep. Sure. Sure. Just no point ever letting that thing resolve. Right. Oh, Razor, what are you working with? Nope. <laughs> Oh. oh dear. Right, okay. Um, let's do one more of this, I think. Um, we've been going for 25 minutes of this deck, so it's probably, uh, probably about right for one more game of it. It'll usually be about 20 minutes or so. Uh, we're going to play some Lotus tomorrow, so if there's any anything else you want me to play, um, give me a shout, because at the moment I've only got uh, the white black the Orzhov Lotus deck lined up. So I am still looking for something else to to play. <laughs> Word. Our mana. Right, okay. Um, I'm gonna be it's difficult because the only Kahira decks I've seen are control decks. Where I don't want extinction event. I have three extinction events, right? 
I still need to just yeah. Play it safe. There might be a creature deck. Uh, we want that one regardless, actually, because um, it'll either kill Kahita or it'll kill a Planeswalker. In fact, this is uh, deals with Planeswalker as well, so this is good. Okay, looks like we're just playing against a control deck that just plays one Kahita because it can, but it has no creatures. So let's try and take away the Teferi. The Narset's actually a pain as well. Actually, it's probably more of a pain. Because it just takes two. Well, it's just getting two cards for one. And this is just going to be a War of Attrition, this matchup. So. Actually, probably not particularly good for us. This might be a bad idea. Um, let's scry. Definitely don't want that. Let's Thought Erasure, see what that other card is. Another Teferi, backup Teferi. Okay, we'll get rid of the backup Teferi. We'll take another Eat. Sure. This will bounce the Omen. I'll protect you. Really need to keep hitting land drops here. We have what? We've got Serpents, Ashiok, and Shark Typhoons as win conditions here. So we're probably actually not in particularly good shape in this matchup. Uh, this is probably okay, it's just gaining too much. That's weird. I think this is the deck that's playing the, the Jeske Ultimatum as well, so I need to be cautious of that. Many paths lie before me. I actually just wanted to draw a card. Yikes, get these things out of my deck. Yeah. The awkward thing, so I've obviously not built this deck, I've just pulled this from someone else. Um, this mana base is, or the sideboard is awful for boarding against anything even remotely similar to your own deck. Because um, it's just like don't want any of these wraths or anything and then I have to actually put some of them back in so I end up having to leave the easy praise in I don't even want to leave the easy praise in guess I'm better bring in a cage because at least it stops Elspeth Conqueror's death I suppose but it's like they have no creatures and these are just all creature based removal it's like we can't we can't go big enough I guess I'd leave a Heartless Act in. Because Easy Prey is just, just two mana cycling. At least this can kill the Kahira. Actually, no, I'm just going to leave the Easy Prey in as a cycling card. Yeah, that sounds fine. The Noxious Grasps kill the Teferis and Kahira and Narset, uh, which is quite nice for that. Uh, right, so we're looking for... Yikes. 
They have, like, no lands. Am I just supposed to take the Omen? I feel like I'm just supposed to take the Omen. Obviously. Nope. <sighs> Just gonna keep hitting land drops as well, aren't they? Obviously. Why wouldn't they keep hitting land drops against us? So I don't know if we can beat these Dovin's Vetoes, to be honest. I don't know what, what the draw we have with the way our deck is built can ever beat the Dovin's Vetoes. I really, really don't know. So at least this is going to be a quick league. No, go away. Give me lands. Give me cheap interaction. This deck's really, really getting to the point of strongly disliking this deck. And I've not played it for that long, so. I guess it just gets vetoed, so. It's like we're never resolving these Ashioks. Just never. Only way I think we're winning is if we draw our Shark Typhoons. And they're bigger than their Shark Typhoon tokens. I think that's the only way this, this ends positively for us. <sighs> yeah, this was like a 5 0 deck from the Magic Fest Online stuff. I just don't see how it managed to win any games. Like, your, your deck is so awkward against almost everything like we don't have this we don't have efficient threat and efficient answers to stuff like if you look at our actual deck like we don't have efficient answers like we're we're preying on them having very specific things to be able to do that and they've held up double veto here as well obviously why wouldn't they all right we'll give this one more go because that was quick um but it's just not felt good If I could have a reasonable hand, a reasonable, keepable hand, that would be amazing. Like, that's the best of the lot, and it's... <sighs> anyway. Anyway. So this is against Demir Flash, so... I'm 
just need to try and answer all of their threats. Okay, they missed a turn. That's good for us. Maybe they're struggling for the double blue. This is a weird game. Like they've played two two cards and we've killed two cards and that's literally all that's happened. I mean we multi five, so I'm definitely okay with how this game's gone so far. Be good if we can get get a couple more card like go through the same kind of exchange a couple more times so we can um turn this on as a counter spell. I uh, would like to try and get this Ashok down at some point, but like with them having six cards in hand, screwing the top. Just not doing that yet. Okay, now it's a pretty good one. Right, is this one we're fighting? This is one we're fighting. I don't care about that one. Okay, I can jam the Narsa here, I think. Okay with this exchange if it's tapping them below being able to cast a threat this turn. Okay, this is fine. Like that's kind of got a heap of cards out of their hand. The fact that we got to just pay for a quench as well worked out reasonably well. It means drowns definitely a counter spell now. Um, so again, we're just gonna hold up until we can like play hold up multiple counter spells with the Sashiok, I think. Like they obviously just drew a heap of interactions, so. Yeah, you're not going to do that. Care too much about that one. I'm gonna shark typhoon for five and try and ambush it though. Because there's no real downside with it. Like a brazen bar is gonna get us regardless. So and there's not really anything they can cast main phase here that'll get us. So and they can't counter this. So That's fine. That's a two for one, because we got got to cycle and got our card out of it as well, so we are now back on card parity from our mulligan. So another shark typhoon is excellent there. Um, am I supposed to jam the ash? No, I'm gonna do the shark typhoon thing again for a turn, and then we'll jam Ashiok next turn, because hopefully that'll get another card away from them. I think I'm supposed to do this for four this time and hold up the counter. 
They've got seven cards in the graveyard, so this is a hard counter at this point. This is really just as a preempting to making this Ashiok result. So yeah, that's great. So now it means that the Ashiok with counter spell means they've only got one card left. Should mean the Ashiok's good and the Ashiok should be game. They had one more counter, but it wasn't good enough. This is this is game over at this point. Opponent agrees. Opponent agrees. Um, okay, so the Demir Flash. I guess we just won the disputes. But our deck's actually much better set up for this matchup. Um, I don't think I want the Extinction Events. I think it's going to be about one for winning. I actually kind of want these as well, as much as it's kind of expensive. I think it's going to be reasonable just purely because it's a two for one. Uh, but at that point, I actually don't think there's anything else I want to cut, so let's not bother. Also means we have to tap out Sorcerer Speed, which we don't really want to do, so... Time seems fine. Thought Razor, a couple of removal spells, and a counter spell. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, in for lands. In for lands. That's fine. Uh, Field of Ruin's real nice here, because we have to take out their castle. If they don't do anything. Um, that one's... I'm actually just going to... I don't really want to counter it, so I'm going to put a stop here. I'm going to let it resolve. I'm going to easy prey it. Um, don't want to counter it there because they could mystical dispute. Um, but this this thing just needs to die. It can't can't ever hang around. So sure. I think that's almost always wrong in this matchup to do that. But. We're going to take out their castle here. Um, it does sort them for double blue, but that's not a big deal here. Like The castle's going to be more important later on, so um, gives us double black as well. Um, does turn on their neutralizers, but that's okay. Stop resolving spells, please. Thank y'all. <laughs> shock 
planned. Interesting. I think I'm in for holding the Narset this turn and jamming it next turn. Okay, they do have Dispute, so interesting what they shocked for. Because that just auto-resolved. So, jamming the Narset here. They have a turn to resolve something if they want to. Um, I think I'm into the Thought Raider. Let me take a peek. What you working with, opponent? Ashiox Erasure and some Borrowers. Bottor is actually the bigger deal there, so uh, negate's a good one. So we'll just grab the negate. Hone your prowess. Or not. Take Typhoon. That should pretty much sure this up. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. That's a good good place to finish as well. Good time to finish. Okay, that deck felt slightly better, but I th the sideboard needs needs reworking because it just just doesn't make sense for the matchups where you actually need to take your take your um your uh, removal out. So when you need to take out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards, I need to bring in nine cards. But in those matchups, there aren't nine cards to bring in. So in the the kind of counter spell mirrors, I've got three mystical disputes. And that's it. And it's like it doesn't doesn't really make sense as to like in the matchups that I have red, I can bring in the Aether Gust two. In the matchups that are white, I can bring in the Noxious Grasps. But that still leaves us two cards short. In the best case scenario. Um, you've actually got we've actually got a reasonable aggro matchup, so I'm a bit. Uh, uh, this just doesn't seem like it's like we should definitely have an extra mystical dispute. Like playing not playing four mystical disputes is just wrong when when you're trying to play this kind of deck. Like when we're trying to resolve spells and we're trying to like get burned through those kind of things. Um, I think it's wrong not to do that. Um, the serpent seems clunky. I think we should just be playing an extra shark typhoon. Shark typhoon is just uh, just pretty ridiculous. Um, the eats were pretty good. Um, extinction event was good in that um, one matchup against fires. Um, the drowning the lock is probably just a little bit too cute, but potentially drowning the lock is better than um, some extra copies of these cards, um, purely because it's then counter magic in the other matchups. So that means we have to take out less cards there. So maybe it's like cut one of each of these and go up to three drowns. That could kind of make sense. Actually, three drowns sounds like too many. Actually, let's go like something like this as a starting point. I think um, I don't want these enters. Um, the cages are fine for what we need. Like, what else can we work with? Da, 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 da. I can't think too much about what we actually need to, like what cards you would normally play in this kind of situation, but um, yeah, there's nothing there that's like jumping out at me immediately, but um, we've got the thought erasure, so we don't really need the. Uh, agonizing remorse, which would be like kind of the go-to there. So and again, don't really need duress. It's kind of 
how do we win the control mirrors more than anything else and I just want one extra card for that because extra dispute makes that slightly easier swapping those cards in the main deck makes slightly more sense so I just want one more card for the control matchups A Liliana might not be the worst thing. Just another threat as well that can can do that. Um, I certainly can't think of anything better at the moment. Like if someone else has something they've been playing in a Demir control deck that would be a good shout. Um, do let me know and I'll I'll update this because um, yeah, it's kind of missing something. Um, I don't like the serpent in this deck. I think it's not right for it. Um, Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that's jumping out to me as things that I would want to be doing in this. So, yeah, I think it's probably just that for the time being. Um, Liliana's good in the mid range matchups as well. So, not that there's too too many of those, but at least it's something that can that can go there. Um, so yeah, um, the deck sweep. Um, it it kind of I just got frustrated with the the way the mana bait the the cards choices were um, at, and the, the sideboard just didn't make sense. Because like, if you can't take out all your removal spells in those matchups, then your sideboard's built wrong. Um, so at least this time, like when we're trying to cut um, eight cards, we can bring in four disputes, a Liliana, and then we can bring in the Gust or the Grasps, and if need be, we can leave in the Easy Praise. I still think there probably needs to be something tweaked in here to make the sideboarding slightly more smooth, but I think it's better than it was. So, um, Okay, um, that's everything for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I'm looking for some more decks to play, so if there's anything that you want me to try, um, do let me know. Um, I'm planning on playing... Oh, which deck was I was going to play tomorrow? I'm going to play the um, Orzov Loras deck. I'm going to play something like this tomorrow, um, so if there's anything else you want me to give a go, do let me know and we'll try and get it included. Um, thank you very much everyone for watching, and we will catch you next time.